Greetings, discrete defenders. Today we are set up to chronograph test four different popular defensive loads of 38 Special Plus P ammunition through the Snubnose Ruger LCR. Now, the four rounds in question are 135 grain gold dot, 130 grain PDX1, although I have to use the, uh, the Ranger version of the Winchester ammunition, which as near as I can tell is loaded almost identically with the PDX1, but technically it's Ranger law enforcement ammunition. Then we have 125 grain Remington Ultimate Defense Compact handgun. And finally, the new entry, Federal Punch. The box calls it a personal defense round and it's listed at 120 grains. We're gonna test them for velocity and I will post in the description the foot pounds of energy that these four rounds develop based on the velocity and the weights of the projectiles. Now, one note here, it is about 35 degrees today, maybe a little cooler than that down here on the ice. What I'm thinking is that the air temperature may impact the performance of the rounds. So I'm gonna to try to get set up quickly and proceed through this test. The rounds have been at room temperature until eh, about an hour ago. They're probably not all the way down to 35 degrees right now, but We'll see how they go. First up is gonna be the gold dot, 135 grain personal defense round. It does list short barrel on the box. So it should theoretically be built for something like this, 1.9 inch barrel. That's pretty typical of snub nose 38s. I'm gonna be about shooting from about four feet away. 838. Duplicate. 838 again. 871. 860. 835. That's pretty healthy velocity for 135 grain ammunition. Five shot average, 848 feet per second. Next, we'll load up the Rangers, the PDX-1 stand-ins. Eight sixty-one, eight eighty-seven, eight hundred ten. 821, 812. Pretty good performance by the 130 grain Rangers. Once again, they are the stand in for the PDX1 by Winchester. Five shot average, 838. So obviously, if they're five grains lighter than the gold dots and they're going 10 feet per second slower, not quite as much power. But next up, Remington Ultimate Defense Compact Handgun. And yes, I know, Remington is bankrupt, but that doesn't mean that this load will no longer be made. I believe Federal, I believe Federal has acquired the rights to make Remington brand ammunition. Nine oh six, nine oh nine, nine fourteen, nine oh six, nine oh five. That's extreme consistency from the Remingtons. Nine hundred eight feet per second from the one hundred and twenty five grain. Remington Ultimate Defense Compact Handgun. So far, 
none of these rounds appears particularly negatively affected by the temperature conditions we have going on out here. Last but not least, we're gonna test out the Federal Punch. Brand new round, 120 grains, list velocity is 1,000 feet per second. Obviously, we will not get 1,000 feet per second out of a snub nose barrel. Eight thirty one, nine fourteen, eight eighty six, nine oh eight, nine nineteen. All right, Let's see what the five shot average is on that. One of those is obviously quite low, not really sure why, but an average of eight ninety one. Yesterday I was out here and tested this same load and got an average of 888. Um, so I'm inclined to go with that average. So far I'd say Remington Ultimate Defense Compact Handgun. Uh, interestingly, they will from now on be loaded by the same company that loads the Federal Punch. I guess we'll see. All right. Now, just for comparison's sake, here is a boutique loaded 125 grain plus P38 special by Underwood. Again, a company you know. But they're gold dot projectiles, 125 grains, not 135 grains like the gold dot loaded short barrels. But we're going to load up five of them. And we are going to see how they do out of the short barrel Ruger LCR. Now we'll try the Underwoods. 125 grain, 38 special plus P. 1073. 1078, 1054, 1056, 1069, five shots, five shot average, 1066. That's 125 grain 38 special plus P. All right, gun enthusiasts and discreet defenders. Thanks for joining me today, discreet defenders. Have a great week.